Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. We focused to write attribute based XPath in my previous video tutorial and in this video tutorial we will learn to write text based XPath. So let's understand what is text top element in HTML. On this HTML page, we have an element button. And between this opening button tag and closing button tag, we have some text present. This is actually element text. This text is used to show some information about the button. If I open web page in a Chrome browser, you can see whatever text we have between opening and closing button tag, it is shown on the button. So this text information we can use to locate this button as well. Let's learn how to do that. I'm going to inspect the first button this button has an attribute name as well and it has text we have already covered attribute based xpath in my previous video we can apply that concept as well here but i am going to use the text to locate this button element so press ctrl f and we need to write the relative xpath so use two forward slashes and my destination element or target element is a button so i am going to use the button tag so as of now it is giving total six web elements but i want some specific one so i need to provide more conditions so that unwanted button tags can be filtered out so in case of attribute we use square bracket same thing we need to use for the text also now for the attribute we used add symbol but for the text we have a function called text itself so this text function will give you the text of element that means when we apply this text function here it is going to return this value which is button with name attribute and still it is total six web elements found because all the buttons have text value now i want to apply some condition on that text value so i'm saying that give me the button where text is equal to let me copy this value and paste here in single quotes so now you can see it is highlighting only one because we have only one web element which is matching this particular text value so what is happening here it is going to get all the button tag and fetch the text value of all those buttons and if the text value is equal to this specific value then it is going to return that button web element if i use attribute space one then it is highlighting the second button web element because it has that exact text if i put something random you can see it is not returning any web element because it is not matching with that text value we have a shortcut for text function instead of text we can use dot this is also same thing whatever filter conditions we learned in previous video same thing you can apply here as well that means we can use not equal to so it is returning me total five buttons because we have total five buttons where this text is not present if the text value is integer or number we can use greater than or less than we can use contains starts with and other functions whatever i covered in my previous video as well let me show you some examples so suppose i want to locate some button elements where text value contains some specific value it means i'm going to use the contains function here so use contains start the parenthesis and close it here and whenever we use this kind of functions so instead of equal to we need to use comma and uh, this time it is returning total two web elements because first element and second element both contains button with name attribute similarly we can use starts with function that means instead of contains you can directly put starts with and it is returning you total two web elements because there are two buttons which is starting with this text value in the next scenario we have a button element and this button element text contains some spaces at the starting of the text and end of the text. Let me locate and write the xpath with text value. So inspect this element and here is the text value. Let's copy it and uh, use two forward slashes button text equal to this value. If you see carefully at the starting we have only one space but at the end we have total two white spaces and since we are passing the exactly same value for the text function it is returning the element if we don't pass these spaces then it is not going to return that is true because text value contains some white spaces at the starting and ending and this equal to condition will not match that so we have one solution we can use the contains function like this before the text function use contains start the parenthesis and close it here and instead of equal to i need to use the comma now you can see it is highlighting but instead of contains we can use another function that is normalize space 
So let's remove the contents first and here instead of text use normalize hyphen space and you can see I am not passing any starting or ending white spaces then also it is able to locate the element perfectly fine. So what is normalize space function? So this normalize space function will remove any white spaces from the starting or end of the text and also it will remove extra white spaces between the words. Let me show you the demo. I have another button web element and here you can see for this text I have multiple white spaces between words. So let's copy this text value and instead of normalize space use text first and pass the value so you can see it is highlighting but the problem with this type of element is that white spaces might be changed in future they might remove it or they might put some extra white spaces so we are not sure and this text function will always look for the exact value match if you use the content then also it will be difficult if they add any new or remove the extra space so in this condition we can use normalize space so here you can see it is not highlighting because we need to pass the expected text without any extra white space so let's remove all the extra white spaces and now you can see it is highlighting the element so whenever we use this normalize space by default it will pick the text value that means if I write text here, it is same as without passing any value. But we can use normalize space function with the attribute value as well. Here I have another button with an attribute ID and the value of ID contains some extra white space between words. So I can use normalize hyphen space function with this ID attribute as well. Let me show you the example. So let's copy the ID value. So two forward slashes button and use normalize hyphen space and put equal to and then pass the value here let's remove the extra white space between words if you don't pass anything here it will take the text by default but i want for attribute so let's use add and pass the attribute so in this condition this normalize space will be applied on the id attribute value and now you can see it is highlighting the expected button web element we have one web element div inside this div we have total four children and all the children have some text. Let's try to locate this div with the text value. Here this div element does not contain any text but the children of div contain some text. So if you try to write slash slash div square bracket text equal to we are learning path. It will not work because whenever we are using this text function it will look for the text value of this div web element which is not present these texts are associated with children of div so if you want to get the text of children of any web element we need to use a string function so the string function will combine the text from all the children element and return but we need to understand in which format it is returning let me show you that part first so i am going to locate this div element using the id value so use slash slash div at id and pass the id value let's copy this xpath now go to console type document dot evaluate you can see first it is expecting expression which is xpath so let's paste whatever i copied and here the second argument will be context note means from where you want to locate the element so i'm going to use document so the attribute we can pass null and uh, i want xpath result dot string type so i made some mistake let's place the up arrow and here xpath result dot string type and the last argument i can pass again null hit the enter so this command is actually javascript command to locate the element since all the children are in new line we can see string value also contains new line character let's rewrite the locator so slash slash div and here instead of text use string this string function will return me this particular string value since this value contains new line character so i am going to use contains for eg matching so use contains comma and pass any text like learning and close it so now you can see it is highlighting the div element so the text function will give you the text of that specific web element only but if we use a string function then it is going to return you the text of all the children after combining them if i go to my html page and instead of new line i'm going to have all the paragraph web elements in the same line and save it reload the page go to console press the up arrow 
and hit enter. This time we can see string value has been changed since all the paragraph characters are in the same line. So we don't have any new line character. So we can use this specific text with the locator. So I'm going to use whole text instead of learning. So now you can see it is highlighting one of one. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.